Alright guys, so now that we know how to write our own custom modules and we're a little bit more familiar with them, what I want to do now is I want to start talking to you about core modules. Now these modules are a little bit different because we don't write them ourselves. These core modules are the modules that are already built in to Node.js. So of course, Node already comes with a bunch of functionality that you're going to be using a lot. And well, let's just go ahead and get started. First of all, I want to say that there are a ton of core modules. If I just take a couple tutorials and try to explain them all, then it's going to be like eight days long. So instead of just going through all of the core modules one by one, I'm going to be explaining them to you as we need them in future programs. But for right now, I'll show you guys like one or two just to, uh, you know, just to demonstrate them. And by the way, the common practice is this. Well, let me just go ahead and. show you guys a quick one FS this is the file system module now the first thing I want to point out is again whenever you're making your own custom modules you include the path dot forward slash whenever you're using core modules do not include the path at all just the name of the module that way node is aware of the fact that you know what this is a core module not one that you made yourself and it can find it a lot faster the other thing you notice and you probably noticed before it's common practice to name the object or the variable the same as the module and this just clears up any confusion so again what this is real quick example this is the file system module and it just allows you to pretty much read and write files and also delete them so let's say that we want to create a new text file you can call fs write file sync and as you saw it took three parameters path which is pretty much the name of the file. So I just create one real quick and name like a text file named corn. The data is of course what you know text do you want inside the uh, file. So I just put like a uh, corn is good, corn is life, and we also have an optional third parameter, but we don't really need it. So again, whenever I run this, what it's going to do, and actually before I do that, look in here. So it's going to create a corn text document in the same directory. So right now I only have one file in here, app.js. Going to run this, finished, and check it out. We now have another one. If we double click it, we can see corn is good, corn is life. So that's what that does. And of course, one other um, bit of code I'll show you guys real quick is how to read files. So fs read file sync and you might expect we'll just read that file that we just created so what this does is it pretty much reads it in and if we want to convert it to a string then we just call to string and since we're logging it out it will display in the little terminal so let me run this the file is created and then it reads it and logs it out so again that's just a quick little demo of what a core module is again we didn't write any of the code to write or read files this is all built in node js for us so let me delete this and also let me delete this corn crap all right now just to show you guys one more um i'll show you guys the path module equals acquire path so the path module is really good whenever you want to work with um, file paths. So let me just go ahead and write two quick file paths. I'll put like um, website home. And we'll say that this is some file on our desktop um, in the directory called Bucky. And I'm going to add a double slash here. And as you can see, that's obviously not something that you want. And I'm going to show you guys how we can fix that using the path module. But I'll just say like the new Boston uh, slash index.html. We'll say that it's like a website or something. Let me add one more. Bag website about. And this one will be, I don't know, just like about.html with a single file. All right. So what the path module is, like I said, is it's really good whenever you want to work with paths because one thing that it does is it normalizes your slashes. In other words, if you guys ever notice, 
um, different file paths on different operating systems, they either use a backslash or a forward slash. And what path module can do is it can actually normalize it depending on your operating system. So if you put like console.log and you just put like, I don't know, path normalize, what we can do here is you can just throw in a path and check out what it does. So again, actually, as you can see right here, since I'm on Windows, the slashes are backslashes. So anytime you have a path, as you can see, I wrote a forward slash right there, it will convert them all into backslashes. And another thing that it does is this. You see, yeah, we were using the right one. All right, you see how after Bucky, I accidentally put two forward slashes? Well, it knows, you know what, that's obviously not what you wanted. That was probably a typo. So it converts it to one. So you're going to use this a lot whenever you're working with um, web servers. And I'll show you guys how to create um, an HTTP server and a file server in the upcoming tutorials. But for now, I just wanted to do a, you know, show you guys. And I'll show you guys a couple of other cool things around here. So let me just log three different things out real quick. All right. So another cool thing that you're going to want to use is this path dot dir name dir name all right website about and might as well just write them all real quick so path dot base name website about and path dot extension name website about all right so you see whenever you have a file path it's kind of broken up into a couple different pieces you have the main path the main location of it you also have the file itself which is pretty much the core file just this and every single file on your computer has an extension is it a text file is it an HTML file is it a JPEG or whatever so using these functions on the path module what we can do is we can actually rip out the pieces of information that we need so again dir name as you can see it pretty much gives you the name of the directory or the path without the file portion of it base name what this does is it just looks at the base or in other words the file name and the extension it just looks what type of file it is in other words the file extension so again those are three other cool things that we're going to be using a lot so there you go that's pretty much how you work with core modules pretty much modules that are already built in to node and since I have some extra time, what I want to do is this. I'm going to show you guys like uh, three other quick things. These really don't have anything to do with core modules directly. But like I said, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create um, like a simple HTTP server and file server. So I just want to explain these because I'm going to be using them in the future. So you know before we had a function called set timeout and we already know what that did it pretty much scheduled a little bit of code or callback method to run after a certain period of time well we also have this thing called set interval and it's kind of similar actually what we can do in here is we can have a bit of code to run actually let me actually show you guys alright so just like before we can have some function in here and it's just gonna like log out um, the word beef and we can have make sure it's in the right place and we can have this run like every two seconds so you may be looking at this and you're like alright is this like the exact same method as set timeout because it looks really similar well the difference between set interval and set timeout is set timeout runs once after the period of time set interval runs repeatedly so every two seconds any code that's in the callback is going to be called. So every two seconds, as you can see, beef is being called. So again, that's just one little quick thing that I wanted to mention. And before I let you guys go, I want to explain this. So actually, let me just log this out. Let me log out two different things. All right. So another little bit of code that we're going to be working with a lot is dir name and also file name. Now this is kind of similar to what I was showing you with a path module 
but essentially what this is going to do is it's going to give you the directory name in other words the full path and also the file name which is the full path plus the file plus the extension of whatever file is currently calling this code so again since it's app.js it's giving us this for app.js and I know that these are kind of random things that I'm teaching you guys but um, first of all you know I didn't want to like spend a tutorial teaching you guys like two lines of code and also like I said they're gonna come in handy in the next couple tutorials so you guys will thank me then so anyways there you go thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time